Hi guys, today we're going to look at removing the uh, decorative trim uh, that sits around the headlight switch. Uh, as you may have guessed, uh, the stage number one uh, for getting this uh, trim out is actually to remove the headlight switch. So we'll start with that and I'll show you how to remove this, uh, this panel here. Okay, so to remove the headlight switch here from the uh, Audi A4, S4 and RS4, B6 and B7, uh, it's a very, very simple um, way of getting this out. Uh, note that this one's actually got the automatic uh, headlight uh, setting on it. Uh, yours may not have that, but that doesn't affect the, uh, the process for getting this out at all. As you know, this clicks around to switch on the headlights and you normally pull these, uh, once the headlights are on, you pull these out uh, to access the fog lights. Now to actually remove the whole thing, what you need to do is set it to zero. Instead of pulling it out, to actually push it in and twist it to the right and it will go a tiny little way like that. It doesn't go any further than that. And once you get to that point, just pull the whole thing and the whole thing will just pop out like so. And that gives you access to the electrical plug on the back. And as you can see, there's two tabs here on the back. You squeeze both of these in. Give the whole thing a bit of a wobble. And it disconnects like so. So that's how to remove the uh, headlight switch uh, from the A4S4 and RS4. Okay, so now we've removed the actual headlight switch. Uh, what we need to do is get a bit more access for this trim. And we'll do that by removing this uh, side panel on the end of the dash here. Now, if you follow this down to the uh, bottom there, you'll see there's a little uh, notch that's actually cut in just above my thumb there. There's a little uh, notch cut into the bottom. Just come up under the notch with a screwdriver or a uh, trim tool, pop it off and the whole thing will come off like so. Once that's done, it's going to give you access to the uh, first of the uh, bolts that we need to remove, this one right here. Uh, all of the fixings on this are size 8, so just undo that with your size 8 socket. Like so, and move on to the next. Okay, so next stage we're removing this, uh, this piece of trim here, okay. Is, uh, we've just removed the, uh, the lower uh, dashboard section uh, panel from underneath here and that gives us the access we need to remove this. Uh, so we've removed the, uh, the headlight switch, we've removed the lower dash uh, panel here, from here. Uh, next thing you've got to do is pop out the uh, little control um, unit here. I've got the daytime running lights and the uh, follow me home lights on this one. Uh, yours may just be, uh, may have one of these controls, may have both or may just be a blanking cap. Regardless of what, what type you've got, got to get, remove this so let's get this out of the way all you do is push it from the rear and you've got one electrical connection remove that like so and then we have uh, two size 8 bolts that are required to remove this uh, this trim here there's one on the end right in here close to the uh, steering wheel just in there and if you look inside where the uh, the actual headlight uh, switch has come out from you'll see at the back there is another size 8 bolt there so we need to remove both of those. So I'm just removing the uh, second of these uh, bolts, like so. And then you can see the whole thing just comes away, simple as that. 